Okay, hopefully you enjoyed those exercises. How do you crack a Caesar cipher? In other words, how does Eve break these messages? Well, the one question you might ask is, well, how many different keys would Eve have to try to do what's called a brute force attack? That means try every possible key. As you've probably discovered, the answer is 25 keys. That's way too easy. So Eve is very happy about that, because she can easily break Caesar cipher. Well, let's look at a slightly more complex cipher. Caesar cipher is an example of what's called a simple substitution cipher, which means generally that you randomly mix up the alphabet to get a cipher alphabet. And then you substitute plain letters with shuffled letters. So we're going to use a little trick here that we're going to have a keyword that'll help us construct our cipher alphabet, which is our actual key, by putting the keyword at the beginning and then putting all the letters that aren't in the word zebrafish following it in alphabetical order. Now, obviously, there are lots of ways we could do this, but that gives us an easy way to transmit the key uh, between Alice and Bob. Alice just has to tell Bob zebrafish, and he knows how to construct this alphabet. But if they wanted, Alice could simply create a permutation or a shuffling of this alphabet, not using the keyword, and pass that along to Bob. Once you've created the cipher alphabet, encrypting and decrypting in simple substitution cipher works the same as it did in Caesar cipher. For each letter in the plain text message, you replace it with the corresponding letter from the cipher alphabet. Of course, you have many more possible cipher alphabets because the alphabets aren't merely a shifting of the original plain alphabet. So now you try it. Here's a, again a set of exercises for you to try. 